Patreon.com slash the walkoff podcast. Uh, $4 a month gets you in there. Uh, let's talk Jordan Romano officially out on World Baseball Classic. Uh, not a lot to talk about news wise for Blue Jays. Uh, so we're going to keep this brief. We're going to get to our Danny Jansen interview uh, shortly, but I do want to touch on Jordan Romano and just kind of the shape of the bullpen and, and everything like that. So if you're good to talk that, we'll talk that. Uh, Scott is still away, so I'm joined by Craig Ballard, February 6th episode of The Walk Off. Here we go. Scott is still away on his holidays, honeymoon, birthday, whatever you want to call it. He's in <laughs> Africa. Uh, I asked Scott his thoughts on the Alec Manoa, uh, Anthony Wrecker, fat shaming thing that was going down. Uh, he was a little out of the loop. He said, I'm not sure. I guess where Scott is in Africa has a hard time getting uh, Sportsnet and the MLB network, right? You're, he's as outside the region as it gets. <laughs> let's just say. So uh, solution for him, by the way, this is a uh, new ad sponsor for the show. So NordVPN, uh, very courteous of them to uh, reach out to us and uh, help support the show. So you can support the show as well by supporting those who support us. So visit NordVPN.com slash walkoff. And uh, we got some bonus offers there. VPN, very helpful in Scott's situation as he can be in Namibia. But his devices can think he's back in Canada. So he can continue to watch Sportsnet and all his baseball content while he travels abroad. I know we have a lot of uh, viewers from Australia, and the Netherlands. And it's a pretty cool uh, global Blue Jay fan base. So if you're having a hard time logging into Sportsnet to watch Blue Jays games this year, NordVPN is the answer for you. Uh, 11 years of NordVPN. So happy birthday to NordVPN. They are giving out a special birthday present. Uh, it's their own birthday and they're giving out the present. How do you like that? <laughs> um, so visit nordvpn.com slash walk off. And uh, with every two year subscription, they're giving out uh, three months up to a full year of free subscription uh, as a birthday gift. So very cool there. Uh, again, nordvpn.com slash walk off 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, cancel it, get your money back. Uh, no problem. Thanks to NordVPN for the support there. And again, support us by supporting our sponsors. There you go. All right. Speaking of international, Jordan Romano out on the World Baseball Classic. Thoughts on this? Pulled out. Well, I don't know if he pulled out. He's officially said, I'm not playing for Italy. Well, I'm a little upset he's not playing for Canada. But it is what it is. Do you think this is injury related? Do you think this is he's just focused on the season at hand? What do you think is the reason here? As as odd as it may sound, I think it's geographical as much as anything else. So that to, to play for Team Italy was going to have to be quite an interruption in in and we know not just our athletes creatures of, of of habit, but closers are a whole different breed altogether. Are a whole different breed altogether. So this was massively going to interrupt because because where, where Team Italy played would have been quite the, the trip there and back in the middle. Also, I mean, all due respect to Team Italy, if you're Jordan Romano, are you sitting there thinking? Are these guys going to be competitive? So in other words, if I went there, would it be like six of one, half dozen of the other if I was in training camp because I'd still be getting my work? Does Team Italy have work for Jordan Romano? Is Team Italy going to be competitive and have safe situations for Jordan Romano? Big picture-wise and, and, and geography-wise, I, I feel like that's more what's in play rather than it being an injury. But I certainly want to echo your sentiments, Adam, and, and I don't want to start the 2023 season you know i already have to warm up to kevin kiermeyer so i don't want to start the season you know be, being upset with jordan romano but i echo that i echo that and let's give him the benefit of the doubt maybe there's a great reason why he's not pitching for team canada i love the world baseball classic adam i absolutely love it and i love to freddie freeman freddie freeman is good with me for the rest of his life there's someone who is canadian because his mom was canadian and and when team canada couldn't get anybody our own canadians to come play for us he phones up team canada and says guys you like, would that be all right? Like, you guys don't have a spot for me, dude. Like, just incredible. So the World Baseball Classic means something to me, Adam Mack. I'll tell you that right now. And I also wish that Jordan Romano was pitching for Team Canada. Well, sad he won't. I don't think there's a case of injuries here either. I think, oh. like you said, I think the just the travel involved, the timing of it, you know, just warming up for the ball season. 
Uh, I like you said, maybe a different story if it was on a real contender with Italy. Like, no offense to Italy, as Canadian mm-hmm. baseball fans, we're no one to speak on who's a contender. Right. <laughs> the World Baseball Classic, I'm well aware. Um, but you know, maybe if it was playing for Team USA or whatever, it would be a different story, right? When there is that opportunity to maybe get a, a gold medal or, or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so he's out. I think a little bit of this might be. Look, I, I know I'm going to come across as a Shapiro and Atkins fanboy when I say this, but this, as we sit here on February 6th, looking into spring training, this is the best bullpen I've seen in years. Totally I think agree. this is the, for sure, in Jordan Romano's yeah. major league career. And I would say this is the first time he's going into camp. I don't think he's worried about his job, but I think this is, Probably the first time where there has been a legitimate option other than Jordan Romano to close out games, right? I feel good about Eric Swanson. Chad Green, I know, is injured and he's a ways away. Even if he comes back this year, I'm not expecting the best possible version of him coming back from Tommy John. But I feel good about this bullpen. I'm optimistic. I'm a glass half full guy. How are you feeling about this bullpen? Couldn't agree with more with what you said more. It's definitely the best bullpen in Jordan Romano's era, so in, the, in, in pretty much the Shatkins era. Uh, and, and that's as is Adam Mack. You just mentioned at some point Chad Green going to be back, hopefully this season. I know this isn't for the faint of heart, and I know Blue Jay fans are sick of hearing it because for the fourth year in a row, I'm going to say Nate Pearson could contribute. But uh, I do think it's true. Nate Pearson could come in. And could, like I said, Adam Mack, you're liking this bullpen as is. That's two guys that could be added. And I'm such a Zulawetta fan, man. Like, oh. I know we all want Ricky Tiedemann to get up to the big league level. But Zulawetta's stuff, to me, he's starting to flirt and mix in a, a curveball now these days, too. Man, I want Zulawetta to be a big-time contributor on the big league level. If Romano uh, were to have some sort of injury, because I do agree with that. I don't think he's worried about losing his job. But, but what, what's what's that would be the glass half empty. He's gonna, if he gets hurt, he's going to lose his job. I'd rather see the glass half full. If something does happen with Romano, to your point about the bullpen, Anthony Bass, over a period of time, can close games for you. Eric Swanson can help you close games. Uh, Yumi Garcia has done that in the past. The flexibility at the back of this bullpen right now is unlike anything that, that, that Shapiro and Atkins have had to deal with. And now you've got the Richards, uh, the, the, the Simbers. Well, Mesa can be at any time, but really the Richards and the Simbers, you've got those long inning guys ready for the fifth and the sixth inning. So on those games where Kikuchi or White or Barrios does blow up, I'm not even panicked. We've got guys for that spot that we weren't counting on Oh, no, really needed Simber for that seventh or eighth inning. We've got nothing but guys for that seventh and eighth inning now. So mm-hmm, even exactly. the Simbers and the Richards get moved up. The Great flexibility, point. wow. And, and I'll throw Trent Thornton's name in there just because he seems to be the cat that with, with the 90 lives that just won't go anywhere. I don't know how he's telling but But any, any, anyway, the, the depth on this bullpen. And Adam, like I said, you're saying you like this bullpen as is. And I'm saying there could even be more coming. Yeah, I was listening to Blair and Barker uh last night this is their podcast from thursday and they were talking about uh the shape of this bullpen and the two names they kept throwing out was yas for zulueta and i i love that call um and also hag and danner uh, okay. friend of the show hag and danner this yeah. is a converted yeah. catcher this is a guy who throws high 90s consistently and touches triple digits on the radar gun uh last year injury plague season didn't get a lot of work in. He's coming into this spring healthy. I'm very optimistic that there is another high-end bullpen arm in this organization right now. Yeah. I think we have we have a few lottery tickets in AAA. And again, that's a my risk coming across as too positive here. But again, that is a situation that we also haven't entered a season feeling good about our AAA depth. In quite a while, yeah. So I, I won't even get you to do this, Adam Mac, because we don't know what of our, what, what what sort of our viewers watching this on a full stump. Like we don't know because because it's vomit inducing. But at some point, when it is safe for you to do so, simply go back a year from now. Jump on the old Google machine and go back a year from now and take a look at what the, what the Toronto Blue Jay bullpen looked like one year ago from right now. And now look at uh, are you kidding? And that it, it, it it's it's a tough scene, uh, Adam, for the fire fire Chatkins crowd. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Couldn't agree with you more. Uh, I will acknowledge Yankees probably have a better bullpen. Astros have a probably have a better bullpen. Yeah. It is what it is. I would say we have a 
top five bullpen in the American League. I feel good about that. Uh, need a few things to hit. Hopefully they do. Very positive going into this, se- into this season. Anything else to add, Craig, before we throw to Danny Jansen? I would like to see if there is going to be any movement in the bullpen. I'm, I'm, I'm watching Steve Matz closely. Uh, Steve Matz, oh my God, uh, Tim is Steven Matz, oh my God, Tim Mesa. I'm not watching Steve Matz closely at all. Let me clarify. He's not, I'm not watching him closely <laughs> at all. Tim Mesa, now I've got these peepers right on Tim Mesa. It is the sole lefty in the bullpen. Um, I thought that last season, if you took a look just on the surface, it, it's like Vladimir Guerrero Jr. last season. His numbers, if you look on the surface, 98% of baseball would be like, oh my gosh. Hey, Ma, did you see what I did? You're like, holy crap, writing home material, right? For Tim Mazin last season, it wasn't a bad season by any stretch of the imagination. In my opinion, it just wasn't worthy of Tim Mazin as good. So I do want to see him take steps forward because it is true that that cupboard is bare. That is one thing about the bullpen. After Tim Mazin, the lefty cupboard is bare. A year ago from now, we hoped it'd be Baraki. A year, a, a year previous, mean we hoped it'd be Anthony Keele. We had guys that we know are just no longer the option. So if there is somewhere to shore up this bullpen. Let, let's keep an eye on Tim Mesa, especially in this day and age, right, Adam, with these rules. you got to face three guys, so you can't just yeah. be good against lefties. You're going to have to face some righties. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, Craig, thanks so much for jumping on here and uh, talking Blue Jays with me. Uh, we'll be back next uh, Monday. Talk more. Hopefully, there's some real news to talk about. <laughs>